Hello, my old mates. How are you doing? We got thunderstorms today and last night, um, and uh, they're threatening all the time. Lightning and thunder and downpours. So I'm in the cellar here, the uh, man cave, my corner of the cellar. For this video I'm smoking uh, Italian of course, um, Savinelli, Bing's favourite with the green stem, beautiful pipe, can't see it entirely in this light but it's a lovely pipe. In Bologna I took um, this kit up here, um, Italian pipes of course, Savinelli, and two tobaccos, one English blend and one uh, Peter Stokeby Luxury Twist Flake, which uh, is like a, so much flavour you think it's uh, aromatic but it's not. It's a fantastic, uh, one of my favourite flakes of all time. So uh, the intro will be short because I need a lot of uh, footage for Bologna. And um, on this occasion I popped a tin, Italian style of tobacco, Da Vinci. It's Dan Tobacco, of course, DTM, but uh, the concept is Italian, of course, Da Vinci, the great genius and inventor. And this is actually uh, Virginia and Black Cavendish with uh, Chianti red wine on it. And um, just smoked a couple of three um, puffs and it's very pleasant first first impression and my lighter is of course the Bologna uh, lighter this one this one Well, it's impossible to do justice for Bologna. I put some links, other videos, uh, presenters, uh, actually, um, uh, who made uh, tours of Bologna, long videos. So um, this 20 minute effort was, uh, of course, just give you a, a taste, uh, just an impression of Bologna and uh, I hope uh, some of you will visit Bologna in the future because it's a fantastic city just as fantastic like uh, Rome or Florence or Turin so so let's start and I'll close it in 25 minutes Here's a map of Bologna and our hotel was at the bottom about uh, 10 minutes from the centre and Piazza Maggiore is actually almost in the centre of this map and you see a lot of uh, churches, uh, some will I mention later on and um, the university is the top right and but one square kilometer uh, 
all of this is the center of Bologna. The joy of walking in Bologna, you find this gastronomic uh, shops like this uh, offering meat and cheeses and pastas, all kinds of things. Uh, but in the center of Bologna, they have specialist shops that, like this one. They mo make only different pastas. It's incredible. Or this one where they have uh, only parmesan cheese and this one uh, just of, of vegetables and here is meat all kinds of hams and things and uh, this is the f fishmonger shop incredible and sweet things like biscotti as well um, and here are the fruits on the fruit shop is incredible well all those ingredients um, add up to a great restaurant uh, this one we went two nights uh, was fantastic and uh, a great menu and a wine list too if you're in italy have a lemon soda that they make the best lemon soda in the world talking of style these cafes have chandeliers. Look at this. This is the nightlife in Bologna. One lane after the next one. It's fantastic. It's party city for young people and uh, it's absolutely extraordinary, you know. <laughs> you have to admire this the Italian style. I've mentioned before I like the street signs in Italy. Great names like this one. <laughs> and um, always interesting. Uh, this one, for example, uh, the street of malcontent. <laughs> Talking about signs, look at this beautiful label on olive oil bottle. If you like flowers and scenery, Bologna is just beautiful. Uh, wonderful f trees and flowers and scenes like this on the hills. This section of the video is about churches in Bologna. Um, just a few examples, beautiful churches decorated in, in the Baroque style. Um, some churches were actually a thousand years old and the um, Stefano church was actually back to the 6th century when the Romans actually were switching to the Christian faith. In the um, crypt, we found a gravestone with Machiavelli on it, but I don't know if it's the real Machiavelli. <laughs> if the churches are beautiful, the cathedrals are magnificent, full of artwork and sculptures, um, and huge buildings, and very quiet and soothing to sit there and meditate and and um, on a hot day it was a, a refuge to go in the the church or the c cathedral but look at that magnificent decoration we uh, resist the tempting to go confession of course by chance we found this uh, beautiful church. Everything was very dark inside, but if you look at the artwork um, on the ceiling, it was you, you could stare at it for hours. Talking of artwork, there were a lot of monuments and fountains and uh, statues to look at uh, in Bologna, and here is 
Garibaldi, of course, he's in every city uh, of Italy, a great man indeed. So here is the Neptune statue, absolutely fantastic metal work. And look at, look at these mermaids, you know. <laughs> you don't see that every day. But it's all art, you know, it's all art, all around. The magnificent statue and the fountain. It's all uh, marble here, and, you know, red marble, and uh, it's spectacular. Here's a look of Neptune himself. Here's another example of statues here on the theater. This is the Piazza Maggioria and uh, the biggest square in Bologna and the center. And look at that architecture. See the older facade, probably the 1500s, and then this one is uh, 1700s or late 1600s. And they have a lot of uh, musical concerts in the summer here. And there's a, a tobacco shop. <laughs> I have to look at that. And here's Neptune's shadow in the evening. Well, in Bologna, I found one genuine uh, tobacconist and uh, lovely stuff, and I uh, bought my Zippo from him. This is absolutely beautiful, like a palace, and uh, there's a private uh, apartments here we shouldn't be here but uh, <laughs> couldn't couldn't resist we're just in the restaurant in Bologna and all the swallows are going mad you know everywhere the swallows are all over here. Wonderful show. 
We took the bus up to the hill and this fantastic cathedral, the sanctuary, is there. I found this uh, cathedral uh, the most impressive building. It was uh, just beautiful. You could look and look for hours, all the sculptures and paintings and the ceiling just gorgeous and we explored around and went up the top of the building to get uh, some uh, scenic views which you'll see shortly especially the ceiling of the dome was very impressive so we climbed up the top of the church a hundred steps and this is the panorama beautiful country around rolling hills and green so green and there's Bologna over here it's glorious really Beautiful, beautiful and beautiful. Here's a few photos of the scenes we got at uh, the top of the, the cathedral. Uh, just magnificent views. Here you see the portico that goes several kilometres all the way from the cathedral to Bologna and we walked all the way uh, about three hours <laughs> all the way back to the Bologna There's some beautiful uh, mysterios uh, with uh, paintings and stories on the way so you are entertained all the way back to Bologna Bologna is uh, famous for its towers, especially these two ones that are leaning uh, at an angle. So um, you'll see a bit more here. Talk of the, uh, the Tower of Pisa. This is the Tower of uh, Bologna. And you would think with uh, just a strong wind that would uh, fall over any time. I stamp my feet. It's incredible that it's still standing, but you see at the bottom it's uh, screened off. You can't climb that uh, tower anymore at the moment. Here's actually a comparison of uh, famous buildings that lean over. And uh, I didn't know actually uh, Big Ben was actually a, an angle at, at all. But you see um, number two is Bologna. <laughs> we talked about Bologna as a university city and uh, the science and medical uh, departments uh, are famous and here is a statue of Galvani and he invented actually electricity in the first uh, electric cell. So of course I stopped in the uh, university section and the uh, science department and the original founders of Bologna were professors and they're buried in these impressive uh, tombs this is the old uh, library building and all over 
Bologna have these fantastic paintings on the ceiling here. Very old, you know, sometimes 600 years old. And look at this esplanade, but one after the other, and all the uh, the crests of the uh, famous families like Lombardi and other ones. Uh, all the rich families of Bologna. It's quite e extraordinary. Most of these are 18th century. They're so beautiful, so beautiful. So Baroque, and I love Baroque. It's just beautiful. Here we found the smallest door in the world. Here's another example of uh, the Esplanade. Beautiful architecture. Just lovely. So the church and Saint Domenico has the last word. I forgot to mention my Tampa is um, Romanesque eagle on a column. Yeah. Got it from uh, someone in Czech Republic who uh, makes these kind of uh, tampers in Etsy. But uh, reminds me of uh, Italy, of course, you know. So I hope you enjoyed those impressions. Very short, of course, but it gives you a, a flavor for Bologna and. Uh, it's a fantastic city with incredible history, you know. You saw about the university and uh, the churches that go back to the 6th century. I mean, it's incredible. And any young blokes in the YTPC, if you're not married, uh, go to Bologna because all the girls look like this. Well, not quite like Gina Lolla Brigitta, but um, pretty good as well. So you'll have a great time and it's a young people city because of the university, of course. Right, that's it for this one. And, uh, you know, when you're eating your spaghetti or pasta, um, think of Bologna. <laughs>